Look at Dada. It's been super hot lately. We don't have a pool, but fortunately we have a friend, a couple friends who do. So we had to just cancel all plans yesterday and uh, go take a dip. Ready to go to the pool? So I can, so I can have popcorn. So you can have popcorn? How about I just mm -hmm. feed it to you? Hi, Dada. You want to wave? Hi. More points. Yeah. I want to be on your shoulders. You want to be on my shoulders? Yeah. The other day when I was taking her to camp. And I went to sit in with a friend's organ trio. It is 9.15 p.m. and I am uh, just playing some super boring technical warm-up exercise stuff before I go see a friend play. Organ trio, band, might sit in. One of the hard things about sitting in is by the time you sit in, they've been playing a gig for a set or two sets or whatever. They're all nice and limbered up. And then you walk on stage to sit in and it's like, take the horn out of the case cold and the reed on and everything. And like your fingers haven't been moving like theirs have for the last two hours. So it's always a really unfair uh, s scenario. If at all possible, it's nice to get a little bit of warm up, even just 15 minutes. But that's not something I was ever able to do before in all the places I've lived from being a kid on uh, through you know, recent adulthood. So it's a real luxury, something I'm really, really grateful for to be able to play at full volume at you know, whatever, 9.20 or later at night. Pulled out a, uh, an old Rick Margitza record for the drive tonight. This one's called Color. Colors? Color. This was a, a huge album for me back in, uh, back in high school. I used to listen to this thing all the time. I think it's kind of, I think it's out of print, unfortunately, now, but it's really good. see her because it's so dark but the person playing drums her name is Tina Raymond and she's a total badass Also, while scrubbing through some of the um, snarky footage that I have, I came across this question that I forgot that I answered, so I'm gonna pop that in here. I'm in a hotel in Taiwan right now on a tour with Snarky Puppy, but there's a question that I got from David inside the site. It's a great question. Hey Bob, I'm having problems with my ears lately. I can identify intervals and chord qualities and roots when when isolated and out of context from a larger piece of music, and I really don't have a problem transcribing chord changes in the practice room. It's just when I'm up in front of a band, I have trouble hearing the changes and substitutions the rhythm section is doing in real time. I wonder if you can help. Okay, so here's, the, here's my solution to that. You need to learn more progressions, and you need to practice like a chordal instrument player, like a piano player or a jazz, a jazz piano or a guitar player, or even bass player would think. That means spending more time on um, progressions, learning progressions, than just soloing. See, as saxophonists, as single line players, we tend to spend the majority of our time on playing lines, on playing over changes, etc. But, you know, if I could go back in time, I would spend, I would 
tell my younger self to practice more progressions and learning how to extract progressions from from single chords. See, very often we learn a chord followed by another chord followed by another chord, and we don't see the bigger picture of how chords to get go together. Working on tunes, man, it's such a great. It's like a nice puzzle. It's a good mental puzzle. It keeps you keeps me really focused when I'm practicing. Hmm.